This work I've created for British Art Show 9 is called Zamel. It is a machine, it's a structure, it's a monument, it's a story about value. It starts with my family, who are Caribbean immigrants, particularly my father was a, he came to Birmingham, so half my family kind of do live in the, in the West Midlands. I grew up hearing stories of people who came over, who traveled the world in search of a better life, and I felt like they kind of became myths to me. Um, and I, at the same time, felt like there were no monuments to those people, there were no monuments to those heroes. And that led me to start thinking about value, why we value people, some people over others, and it has nothing really to do with endeavor, so it's more to do with the conditions of the day. And it's, at the same time, I wanted to make a work which was tr true to me or honest. And my work's very much about function and it's very much about uh, a conversation um, between man and machine. So I think what I've ended up with is a kind of giant machine. Um, that fundamentally plays sound and, 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 and moving image um, to try and create a feeling which I feel is the artwork. I, I think I make work that's designed to be used or to be inhabited, that is the artwork, it's the people in the place. So I guess I'm always trying to make a, 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 an object or a, a machine or a structure that forces people or encourages people, should I say, to be in that space and think about things for themselves. Like this particular work was named after my uncle, you know, who he just like put up half of Birmingham. So of course it's, it's just directly inspired in terms of structure and in terms of what he was about and sound systems, culture and all of these things and the kind of technical aspects that filtered all the way down to me. Um, I think that, yeah, this work is a, just a, a direct result of the diversity in this country and in this town, in the city, um, and in the area in general. I think we've always wanted our voices to be heard and for us to be sort of valued. And I think now more than ever, I feel like maybe my work is kind of about claiming space within this idea of diversity, i.e. we're here to stay. So when that Windrush generation arrived and were being chased down the street by teddy boys with chains and cutthroat razors and all the stories that we heard, which kind of made me view that generation as heroic, we have a place here and that is important, that has value. Um, and it just it won't be easily erased by the politics of the day. My work is a kind of direct result of that diversity or that m like motion of people, and particularly in the Midlands, because half of my family that came to the West Midlands, they came to work in construction as opposed to working on a tube, you know, worked underground or, or on buses and stuff like that. And so I felt I feel like that kind of gave them agency and space and their children agency in space and their children's children agency in space to maybe start questioning things in a way that I don't know would have happened without that kind of autonomy. My work is, is kind of about using new materials, new mediums, you know, I use industrial materials, I use electronics, I use video, I use all of these things together to try and communicate as much of that idea um, as I can, and I guess that's why maybe my work's quite it's quite big in size because I think I just I kind of I guess I want to encourage people to to be transported to think about something that they might not necessarily have considered as art or considered in a way that I guess is poignant to them. You know, you feel it rather than you just sort of observe it. I, I think I'm always trying to place. The, the experience uh, within the experience rather than the distance of viewing something or hearing something in isolation.